afternoon. We just got done with an audition and it went well ish. Look at my nails. Look at my nails. Packers game is tonight and it's starting off the football season and I'm so excited. I'm headed back home right now. I have another audition to go to at 2 but it's going to be easy because it's a YouTube audition thing. It's not really an audition. It's more like a meeting. But that's exciting. You know? New projects. Woo! And then I gotta come home, get some stuff to make appetizers for the game. And then there's gonna be people over and we're gonna watch the game and Packers are gonna win. It's gonna be so cool. I can't believe football season is here already. Summer flew by. I cannot believe that summer has already gone. But I also am very excited for football season. Joan Rivers just died, by the way. What? Yeah. No fucking way. What? Joan Rivers died. Okay, that's not how I wanted you to start my vlog. I was about to ask you how excited oh, you were about football season. I just season. heard the news that she she'd passed away. Yeah. Oh my god. Remember really? she was in she was in a in coma. A coma, yeah. yeah. But what was the cause? Uh, she was getting neck surgery, and um, she, oh my she never fucking came back. god, I love Joan Rivers. Yeah, me too. Holy Sucks. crap. And she just had that show where she had all those YouTubers on it, the In Bed with Joan. Did you watch it? Oh, that? I didn't know. Anyway, how do you feel about football season starting? I'm excited. God. Sorry. I literally turned on the camera to talk about football and you were like, Joan Rivers died. I'm sorry. You're excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited too. We were just talking about how if the Packers weren't starting the season, I would probably have to miss the game because we're going to be... Miss the game. Yeah, I would have to miss the game because we'd be in Denver watching the Colts vs. Broncos game on Sunday. And if Packers were playing Sunday, I wouldn't get to see the game. So it was like perfectly meant to be. And what are you making? I'm making some appetizers. I'm making, not going to tell him what I'm making. Bullshit. Because it's all secret and I'm mysterious like that. You're not mysterious at all. You're very... Super mysterious about what I'm making for dinner. What are you going to make? Super mysterious uh, items. I'm Super gonna... mysterious okay. items. I'll find out within five minutes if you start to cook. Might be prosciutto or melon. Uh, but maybe it's not, you don't know what it is. Yay, Packers! Go Packers! We are in LAX airport. My hair is beautiful. You look great. Thank you. So we're taking Frontier Airlines, which I did not know was a terrible airline. Apparently they charge for your carry-on bags. Yeah. You charge $35 a carry-on bag, which is silly. I only chose this airline because it was the cheapest, but it was only cheaper by like $4. I didn't know that they did all that stuff. It's we are... On the way to Denver. Yeah, bud. And we're gonna see the game tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. Are you excited? Oh, hell yeah. Here you do. Steve had to wake up really early this morning. I don't so like the morning. He's, he's not a morning person. But he's excited about the game. Yeah, but Just landed in Denver and we're at the Denver airport. And Steve says that there's like a lot of Illuminati stuff in here. Tons of Freemason stuff. Freemason. Freemason stuff and like reptilian culture stuff. And so we're looking for signs of it. This is pretty. Pretty ominous. That orange number 18 shirt right there. Oh my god, Illuminati. Doomsday scenario imagery. They're basically showing the world what it was like when children were on the earth. <laughs> Dang. No, they're showing children sacrifices. No, because, because this airport was built. There's there's a secret shadow government infrastructure underneath it. Look it up, dude. There's actually like so much fiber optic cables. There's like miles and miles and miles. Like way more than you need for an airport. And they did all this stuff as, as imagery so that, you know, when the end of the world comes, we can all remember what it was like to have children. Like, we had whales. We used to have, like, like antelopes and shit. People from all over the world got together yeah. and sometimes and, you know, watched, had barbecues and stuff. Yeah, they are all on fire, and she's got her animals in a box. She's got, she got a passenger pigeon in a glass thing, like a museum object, dude. To remember them? Yeah, dude. Look at this. To remember the species this, and the, the sea turtles all caught. Right? Why do they have this? Look, dude, it's the great city on fire. Why do they have Illuminati. this? That's so weird. Because it's Illuminati shit. Because there's a shadow government underneath this. Because it was built. See that thing that says tornado shelter? Yeah, okay. Well, we can't go in there right now, I bet. Because it's shadow government. So, shadow government people only. Shadow government people only. Shadow government only. They believe that imagery strengthens their purpose. Look at the dollar bill, homie. This is like a fucking Illuminati goblin. <laughs> oh my this. god, that's scary. Right? This airport is fucking scary, dude. Come on. Come on, bud. Let's go. Dave, I don't think it's responding to you. Come on, bud. Look, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, so that's a good boy. That's a good boy. <laughs> I was pretty before I drank alcohols. Now you have to deal with it. We have Des Bryant on our team, and we're currently watching the 49ers Cowboys game. 
and it is a slaughter against us. However, earlier we watched the Falcons Saints game and holy shit, that was an amazing game. And all of you haters that said that Matt Ryan wasn't a good quarterback for our fantasy team can sit on it. Seriously, fuck guys, that was, that was pretty dope. It was such a good game and we got, Matt Ryan scored a 61 fantasy points. Holy shit, slap it high Matt Ryan if you're watching this. Wish my Green Bay Packers game was like that last week. But we'll let that roll. Fucking killing me, Des. Hey, Kelvin Benjamin, we had him on the bench today. 15 points. Damn. Well, you win some, you lose some. Hopefully, I think this game tonight, the Broncos-Colts game, I ho I'm hoping for a game like the Falcons-Saints game today because that was such a just such a fun game to watch. It makes it so much more fun when the teams are close and it's like they're both really good and you don't know who's going to win. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we have been a Terry, but the girl that we're playing against this week in fantasy has Andrew Luck and Reggie Wayne. We were killing her with Matt Ryan, and then Des Bryant just kind of screwed Des us Bryant over. Des Bryant fucking angle over the field. Yeah. Des Bryant was kind of a fail for us this week. Also, well, we'll see. It's still, we'll get, we'll get we one still got one more quarter left. If he just gets a touchdown in garbage time, I'll take it, baby. I'll take it. But he was off the field for a little bit, and they've been doing running game pretty much all game. And the girl that we're playing against has DeMarco Murray, so she's got, like, what, 22 points so far with the running back? Yeah, dude, 24. Ugh. This is fun though. This is my first day of like real fantasy football, and, yeah, it is. and it's, it's been fun, pretty right? fun. It's yeah. Like, it heightens everything. Right? Oh, it does, yeah. and it makes it more fun to watch other teams. Just wasn't fun when we had Percy Harvin and I was against my Green Bay Packer team, That's right. because I don't like rooting against my team, so I didn't, and I didn't give a fuck about Percy Harvin. <laughs> but other than that, it's really fun. I'm excited for tonight. <laughs> so weird like Steve and I both stepped out of a hotel room yesterday and we were like what's that smell is that is that fresh air yeah. oh my god it's fresh air it's trees we're so not used to it living in LA this is gonna be such a good game I'm so That's excited watching at home doesn't even compare to this shit dude. it yeah. really does we're here yeah bud look at this shit you excited it's a great city yeah, way better than Qualcomm holy oh, shit it's so pretty it's sunny but it's raining yeah it's nice though it's gonna be a it's gonna be the end of the rainbow here. I don't know if you can see the rain. I'm such a mom of like, I'm glad no one got hurt. That's 